Hey everyone, this is Caitlin. And this is Lacey. And this is Women in the Trailer Industry. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about NATDA, what that is, and the trade show coming up. So tell us what NATDA is, Lacey. The North American Trailer Dealer Association, and when is it this year? It is August 29th through 31st, um, and it starts with education, and then it ends with the trade show. It's a little different schedule this year, so it's done on Thursday, I believe, and then you get to get out of there on Friday and get to enjoy your... Um, Labor Day weekend, so yep. it'll yep. be a so good time. So I know time. everybody that runs in ATDA, Andrea and Karen and Corey and all of them kind of have worked really hard to change the schedule so that they can give people, get them out of there quicker yep. um, for the holiday weekend. So really awesome that they think about yep. that kind of stuff. Absolutely. This year it's in Nashville, so that'll be fun. It was in last year's, um, in Nashville last year as well. Um, definitely some interesting characters in Nashville, yeah. but... It's definitely a memory worth a go. Um, And so now we'll talk a little bit about the education and the trade show. Um, So first on the 29th from three to five, um, we'll have our first ever women in the trailer industry committee round table. Um, And it may actually be called women in business round table, um, but that will be super exciting. We'll have wine and cheese. We'll also have like topics we'll discuss and we'll have each committee member, um, and this is tentative. Yes. So we'll have each co- committee member with you at a table to kind of, you know, foster the conversation, support you in any way. Hopefully everyone who attends that can find a mentor from that mm-hmm. and someone to reach out to. And then the, the way to uh, go to that event is just when you register your badge for NATDA, just hit the round table, yeah. subscribe to that little button, and they'll send you the tickets and all of that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, it should be printed on your badge whenever mm-hmm. you print those out um, at the show. But we're super excited this year. We have an incredible group of ladies on our committee. Um, we have worked together to um, form a mission and to also um, come up with some good, relevant topics for us to talk about, some some issues that we're having, some good leadership topics to, to go over, um, just to kind of bounce it back on back and forth. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that, but when the time changes in here, really weird noise happens, happens and tells you like it's four o'clock, <laughs> something <laughs> like that. Anyways. Um, it's exactly how it sounds. <laughs> we should do a voiceover and play that the next time it changed to four and see how he trips out. Yes, we should. Or it should say like, turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Um, but any, anyway. Our kind of prank. <laughs> um, but we're super excited. Um, if you have not registered, please register. I think there's like 200 spots. Um, I know it's filling up quick. Um, but that's what we are invested in yep. in that day of education. There's and then, so much more. Yep. And that next day, um, our very own Kiefer Likens, he will be doing a marketing um, seminar, yep. um, marketing on the shoestring budget. So definitely attend that. I, I believe register the same way you register for women in business. Um, really, if you need to get marketing out there, He's going to go over a lot of tips, tricks, and ways to do that if you don't necessarily have a bunch of money to spend. And, you know, as a lot of startups, we don't, you know, um, and you have to get it how you can get it. So he's definitely going to give a lot of good ideas for that. Yep. There's so many other um, educational opportunities. The whole day on Tuesday is booked. Is it Tuesday? The 29th? What What is the 29th? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. The entire day is booked. I know that there's a whole lineup of dealer programs and educational opportunities for the dealers to go to. Um, attendees can go to um, all the ones that Caitlin and I were talking about. Um, and there's so much more. I think there's some HR ones. Um, mm-hmm. There's just a, there's an entire long list. You can find it at NATDA.org yeah. um, and then go to the trade show. I think I've already been registered, but I'll definitely have to go look and see what um, kind of education there is because yeah. we're just going to be kind of hanging around. And so yeah, I might sure. as well go do that instead of being in people's way. But um, on the 30th, the trade show starts. Yep. So that'll be exciting. We will have live podcasting in the Trailer Parts Expo Lounge mm-hmm. this year. Um, so it's actually going to be live this yeah. year. And so um, at that same time, I believe it'll be on YouTube. Um, 
Hopefully the internet works yes. us there. So we'll definitely have to adapt to that. But um, if you want to be on the podcast, we'll put the Calendly link. Also, just reach out to one of us, Lacey, Caitlin, yep. Kiefer, Juan, any of us to be on the podcast, Women in the Trailer Industry or Folson with Juan and Keefe. Um, ours, Women in the Trailer Industry, is more leadership, struggles, things you've overcome related. And Full Send is really, you know, industry related, what's going on in the industry, struggles and opportunities and things that you've overcome. Um, so definitely get connected with one, one of those podcasts. It's also a really good opportunity um, just to talk about, tell people what you do in your business. Uh, what do you have to offer? It's a good promotional, free promotional um, opportunity just to get that out there into the world. Um, I know that a lot of people are going to be following NATDA that like all the LinkedIn posts that they're going to do and the social posts will be posting. So definitely have a good audience base to be following what we're doing outside of just the attendees at the show. Yep. And I mean, just the amount of vendors, I believe the yeah. show is sold out again. Sold out, yeah. Vendors, exhibitors, manufacturers is just astounding. Um, there's already, already, always, sorry, band favorites like Diamond C. Last year they had a coffee shop. So I was just sitting here thinking like, how can we put coffee in our podcast booth? Like I need to make me a latte, (laughs) but, um, instead of Starbucks and have to wait in line, but definitely go see some of those cool, cool vendors. I know a lot of people have cornhole tournaments, um, where you can win prizes. And then also NATDA, I believe does a, a big prize, a giveaway, um, so, and in a few weeks, we'll be meeting with Karen Anderson. She's the sales director for NATDA and she'll really go into all the different things that the show has to offer yeah, this year. For sure. I know on a previous podcast when we had Andrea with us, um, she went over that this year they're going to have prizes for like booth prizes. So like, um, best booth setup, best yeah. booth prizes, uh, giveaways. Um, I'm not sure what all of them are, but they're so, so definitely something to, to, more to get out of it this year. I mean, yeah. I always think every year, like, how could they do this any better? Because it's always so good, yep. and then they top it every year. Well, so. this year is our 15th anniversary, yeah. too, so that's pretty awesome. They've hit a bunch of records on top trade shows, things yeah. like that, so that's pretty awesome. And it's definitely the industry trade show to be at. It is. Um, I don't know if you've really tried any trade shows in our industry. Um, this is the one that's yeah. going to get you your best ROI, your – um best networking yeah best networking everybody tries to be there and i mean it's almost like a fight like i know at least for for my team it is it's like who gets to go this year and we draw it yeah literally draw out of a hat because everybody wants to go yeah you know it's it's a big deal yeah and and definitely the connections and relationships and more mentors you gain out Mm -hmm. of it you know you go there and then you'll be in line and you'll see someone from last year. And then you take a minute because you have to figure out who's going to talk first. Right. And then um, <laughs> or where you know that person yeah, from. Like, like did I go- really see that person yeah. last year? Yes, yes, you did. So say <laughs> something and quit being awkward. But yeah. um, definitely getting to see people and, and make those friends and in the industry and mm-hmm. people you can connect with. Um, I know every year they have a display of new products that have come onto the market. Yeah. Um, that's always really fun to look at and walk around in. Um, I know they have a dealer's lounge where they're going to have um, just live dealer educational. Throughout the show. Like, um, not speeches, but like. Presentations. Presentations, yeah. Educational presentations throughout the show where, you know, that's going to be going the whole time. Um, People are going to be sharing their expertise. Yeah. And then, you know, in addition to the trade show, I mean, the trade show is one benefit NITDA has to offer, but also... They have many member Mm -hmm. resources, so credit card processing, um, insurance. Um, They have a lot of partners that are trusted partners. So if you're ever looking for something and you don't know where to start, because if you Google something, you're going to have 5,000 searches. And yeah. more than likely, the one you're going to see first is who paid the most money to get there, right? Doesn't mean they're the best. Yeah, it <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean they're the best. But um, if you want a trusted source and you really want to utilize NATDA for what it is, then be sure to tap into those yes. member resources. And um, if you don't know, I believe Leanna Corner is the yes. 
membership manager. So she'd be happy to help you. Mm -hmm. You really just reach out to any of us and we can direct you in the right direction um, for any resource that you're looking for. But NATDA and all the members of NATDA have done a really good job of making it more than just a trade show, right? Yeah. It's, it's just such a good networking, number one, but also resource. There's just endless resources. Yep. And and there's so many people out there who are willing to help, even if they're, they're your competitor or whatever. Yeah. I mean, in the moment, we're all people and we can all discuss and brainstorm and do what we need to do and all be successful because there's enough business to go around. So. And nine times out of 10, the same struggles that you're having other people are having too. And yeah. so it's really good at sounding board sometimes just to, to know you're not alone yep. and you're all trying to just figure it out. Yep. Well, that was all we had on NATDA. Um, be sure to join our live podcasting. We'd love to have people on there. We're already yep. getting filled up and um, come see us. Yeah, for sure. Follow us, like, subscribe anywhere you stream your podcasting. Uh, don't forget to follow Juan. Full send with Juan and Keith. Um, and don't forget that we will be in the podcast lounge um, the whole time. So if you want to be on it, just reach out to us. Yep. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.